Hey again, uh, it's me, Jesse, uh, artist for Charred Dirt, uh, game designer, and all around nice guy. Um, today's topic, or this video's topic, is the history of Charred Dirt. And one of the questions I get most is people ask, what's going on with the game? Uh, what happened to the Charred Dirt? Uh, are you going to make another one? Um, so I thought I'd start, and I know this might be a little lengthy, but if you're ever at all interested in Charred Dirt, this should be very, very informative. So Charred Dirt started around 2000, 2001 as a, an idea by myself and Sean White, uh, a programmer who made the original game with me. Um, we both worked at Best Buy in the tech bay, uh, which then became Geek Squad. and. We were both very big fans of the classic PC game, Scorched Earth. Now, Scorched Earth was a side-scrolling 2D tank action game. You cho choose your angle and your power, and uh, you lob projectiles at each other and destroy other tanks and the landscape. Uh, it, was, it was sort of like a pass-and-play type game. Uh, you took turns, and uh, but it, I think the thing that stood out is, one, there was a, a good sense of humor with the game. And the other is it wasn't too wacky, though, with, with the weapons, you know, it was nukes, death heads, uh, you know, really high-powered stuff. It was like a nuclear war type game, and a lot of fun. If you're a pl classic PC gamer, um, you would have played it <laughs> back in the day. Um, it was made by a guy named Wendell Hicken. So another guy in the, in the tech bay actually tried to contact Wendell and see if he could buy the rights to the game. Well. It never happened. Uh, to this day, I have yet to receive a reply from Wendell Hicken uh, regarding anything related to Scorched Earth, despite him having a blog and, and talking about it. So, um, with that being out, uh, Sean and I realized that, hey, he could do programming and I could do art. He came up with a little bare bones um, tank simulation and I said, hey, let me, let me add some graphics. So. Char Dirt was born, and we didn't have a game plan. We never made you know any sort of design docs. We just winged it and uh, made it as close to Scorch Earth as possible, but with our own spin. Um, we made it as if it was the unofficial sequel to Scorched Earth. So we joked around with names, and Char Dirt sort of came up, and we all thought it was funny, and so it stuck. So. That's how Char Dirt got started, and we wrapped up version 0.99C uh, probably in late 2004, early 2005, because we did a convention, Katsukon, where we hosted a, a game room and did tournaments and things like that. So that was sort of the height of the game. I think we peaked around 400,000 hits to the website uh, in 2004, August of 2004 was the, was the peak uh, of the game. And uh, had a pretty good uh, community. And I had a lot of great guys. There was Mad Boy, Picky, uh, Degas, um, so many others, so many others uh, that were just really JAJ Jr. who hosted the site. Um, you know, I, the list goes on and on. I mean, there, there were so many great guys. And if I forgot you, many apologies. <laughs> um, you know, I, I've got you here in my heart, I know. Uh, th those, those guys really would, would help out with conventions and, and everything. Um, so anyway, Sean went on to game design school out in Arizona, finally getting a job in California, eventually working for Blizzard. Uh, he was very busy, so we never really worked together again, although we do still keep in touch uh, by Twitter and email. Uh, and we just hung out recently. So, uh, you know, we've, we've talked about some different projects. However, um, I really feel that the, the future of 2D games is mobile. And so I have really kind of turned to 180 and started getting into mobile development while he is still working in um, C++ and doing, you know, classic PC type gaming, which is great. I love PC gaming, but as a 2D artist, my future isn't in PC gaming, as easy as it is to develop for. Uh, I, I definitely want to work, um, you know, uh, on iPad and Android games. So that sort of brings us to present. And one of the questions I get the most is, what about Char Dirt 2? Or are you going to port Char Dirt to mobile devices? Um, 
being that it's like over 10 years old, I feel that it, it hasn't aged as well as I thought it would. I mean, it's still a fun game. Uh, it's still got great gameplay. Um, I think the graphics are a little lacking, and that's just me, uh, maybe as the artist. But, um, you know, I definitely feel like I could do better. Uh, there, there's issues, too, with resolutions, like, you know, iPads... The standard iPad is 1024 by 768 and we designed chart dirt for 600 by 800 and um, I would basically have to redesign everything anyway to scale up to that resolution so uh, you know direct port is probably out um, I think we both agreed on that, that that we're not going to bring chart dirt back over so it's sold free for the PC um, you can go to chartdirt.com or um, we're gonna have a new website uh, for hydraulic games, and uh, it, you'll be able to download it there. But it's, it will always be free if you want to play it for PC. It's still fun. It has uh, USB gamepad support. Um, the online multiplayer is broken, but you can still do hot seat gaming. You know, one computer with eight players. So that it's still a lot of fun. Um, so Chard Dirt Defense is my newest game, and you know, when I announced it, um, people are like, "What?" you know, why a tower defense game? I mean, we all love the classic gameplay, the angle power um, thing of Scorched Earth and Charred Dirt. So why would you do an about face and make a different type of game? Well, I thought that the Charred Dirt world was kind of neat. I mean, it was really mine, so to speak. I mean, we had like a little bit of a comic. Um, we had a lot of characters fleshed out and a lot of people really liked and responded well to the characters. And I thought, hey, that's a cool world. I think we could do a lot more with it. And um, I needed a, a pretty simple game, uh, at least conceptually simple, to, to get back into it with Charred Dirt. Um, or you're just making games in general, because I'd taken a, a good bit of a hiatus from game development. So I came up with the idea of doing a tower defense game, which I'm very, very fond of. I love tower defense games. I mean, you know, it, it takes some of the best parts of StarCraft and, and that type of game and really puts it together in a fun, um, engaging environment that doesn't take up a, a whole lot of time. Um, so I think it, it, it responds well to social and sort of mobile devices where you're going to pick it up and play quickly. Um, so I came up with Charter Defense, which is an isometric 2.5D game. What that means is it's 2D, but it sort of looks 3D. It's got the, you know, the, the diamond-shaped tiles, um, where, where our... Ours differs from your standard one is uh, that we have height, you know, so the hot tiles have different height, um, a la Final Fantasy Tactics. Um, so it looks like a tactical strategy game, but it's really a tower defense game. So I think it's pretty original in its execution and it has a very unique look. And I think I think people will respond to it well once, once we've got it out and people see some of the actual gameplay. So that sort of timeline of Charred Dirt in a nutshell. Um, Charger 2, or maybe we'll call it Charger Mobile, uh, which I, I, is really a project near and dear to my heart. Uh, it's something I really want to see, and part of me, uh, you know, getting to that point is me getting back into game development, hence why I started Charger Defense. So, sort of a foot in the door. Um, Sean and I have talked about it. I, I don't know how it would work because he doesn't really develop for mobile, um, but. Maybe something will come up. Maybe I'll bring him on as consultant um, for another project in the future. I think that would do very, very well on the iPad and uh, iPhone and, and hopefully Android devices as well. So stay tuned to that. Um, that may be a year or two out. Uh, I, I don't see it being any sooner. I've got a lot of good ideas for, for other games, for, for hydraulic games. But I'll get to that in a different video. And uh, peace out. Thanks for watching and thanks for listening to me ramble. All right, bye.